So, yeah. so does anybody, yeah, well, you were the first one to raise your hand before, <laughs> so I got to hit you first. All right, an advantage. I was happy to, that you mentioned that you're interested in uh, letting people find out about breaches. Uh, just as an example, I've twice this year had my uh, credit card information stolen, not from where my card is given, but actually from the payment processors or further up the chain. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to Visa, they say, refuse to tell me where they got the uh, information uh, lost from, uh, which makes it hard for me then to know whether I should frequent a business again, and they won't give me, the customer with the card who's actually been violated, any information. So that would be nice if they were compelled to tell me which place had a breach. In one case, it was easy enough to figure out that it was global payments that got hacked that, that gave my card number over. But again, recently with Home Depot being hacked, yeah. so I can at least identify that because I put the pieces together thanks to the news media. Yeah. It, but it wasn't thanks to Visa. Mm -hmm. And uh, just as the other, uh, other quick thing, I was happy that you mentioned that your cell phone's a tracking device. There's an MP in Germany that four or five years ago got their cell tower information and released a map of where he'd been throughout the previous months based on simply having a cell phone on, on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's uh, and, and that's where we're at, right? I mean, the amount of people who don't have cell phones, is, uh, smartphones, is getting less and less. So any cell phone would work. Yeah, that's it true. doesn't have to have GPS yeah, in it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So yeah, and I, even fewer number of people who don't have cell phones. <laughs> um, but I just want to come back to the the breach um, thing that you you, you were mentioning. Um, it, it is a huge problem because, like the Home Depot thing, for example, um, people who are customers of Home Depot, if that hadn't gone in the news, you wouldn't know about it because there's there's absolutely no obligation for them to tell you about it. Um, there is a voluntary um, a voluntary uh, disclosure mechanism if they, if they wish to disclose it, but very very few organizations actually do. Um, there is a, a study by Telus Rotman who uh, said that every publicly tr uh, publicly traded company suffers on average 7.8 data breaches per year. So think about that and think about how many you know about. <laughs> it's a very small percentage. Um, so it, it is very important that we be given the tools to, to protect our privacy and to, to know, well, okay, do I need to call the anti-fraud center? Do I need to do this? Who do I need to um, to not do business with anymore? Like you said, like, um, I had an incident. I don't know if you guys use Mint. I don't want to talk negatively. <laughs> of, uh, but uh, Mint is a, it helps you budget your, your things. And I had my credit card information stolen. And, is thanks to um, a professor who I, I talk to regularly within my my um, my portfolio, who's saying who's, we were having a conversation. It's like you know I have a problem with those budget things because they, they share banking information and it's like like Mint. He's like yes, like, that's how it happened, right? But I mean I wouldn't have known because I didn't have that information at hand. Um, so it's very important in my opinion that we, we do go ahead with this and um, we're we're actually falling. Um, far behind international standards when it comes to that. You had a question? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was more about, um, you mentioned the Vic Taves thing and the Telvic everything and how he was, basically all that information was public and it was just released on Twitter, right, the, about his divorce, etc. Um, so there is an ethical component there, but there was no criminal component there. So I was wondering if you could just speak a little bit about the ethics of privacy versus the legal, because it seems like that's where the government draws the line, right? Even if it's unethical, there's no concern. But if it's illegal, yeah, then there's a concern. But maybe you could just kind of. Yeah, I think that's a really um, <coughs> an interesting way to look at the debate. Um, so um, there was something illegal that um, Adam. Carol. Adam Carroll, thank you. <laughs> um, um, did, right? And he actually came before the Ethics Committee and had a testimony. And we asked him, did you do anything illegal? Did you break the law? It's like, no, I didn't break the law. Mm -hmm. Um, and and again, I do find it ironic that I mean the conservatives made this guy come to come to committee and testify when he did not break the law, and yet they are there spying on their own citizens, which is not legal. You're not supposed to spy on your own citizens. Um, now they are doing it in a legal way because they found this this huge loophole, right? Um, but uh, but I think that once you think about it, is it right to do that, right? It, it, Outside, I mean, the, yeah, technically it's legal that they made 1.2 million requests, but there was supposed to be a reflection behind that. There was supposed to be, do I really need this information to stop someone from getting killed? Do I need this information to stop a terrorist bombing? Do I need this information to, um, to stop this child from getting 
uh, kidnapped. No. And I mean, I, I don't have details on that case because there's a huge lack of transparency. But I mean, when I ask, uh, when, I, when I got that information about 14,900 requests and only three were for national security reasons, that, that's pretty revealing to me, right? So um, I think that that, that that reflection should be in place, and it was meant to be in place when, when the bill was uh, created with these exceptions in it. Um, but unfortunately, um, we saw that uh, there's abuses, and, and then I think it's time to act because, unfortunately, that ethical reflection is not happening. So. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.